This lady has been trending because she moved from a gospel singer to a social media slave queen. This is the word definition of good girl gone bad like Rihanna. She literally gave her life to Christ and collected it back. The beautiful and well-endowed lady, identified as Evan Okoro, who regularly shares raunchy photos and videos on her Instagram page, began trending online after posting throwback photos that shows she used to be a gospel singer in the beginning years of her career, but switched for the street. She released a gospel album titled Hichamanya Mary, which means Wipe Away My Tears. On the album is the So Stereo hit track titled Ojula Mono, which means I'm speechless. A sort of my suffering is unbearable, therefore I'm speechless. But the gospel music did not give her the fame and the money she was looking for. She probably had a touch of Slave Queen then, but it didn't manifest fast enough. So after a while, she eventually ventured into the opposite side of being a gospel singer. From singing Hichamanya Miri in her song to singing Rachami U in her Instagram videos. Guys, my name is Eva Nokoro. Adisu. Adimo states. The only babe that is sweet in the middle. I am sweet in the middle. Some of you are asking me, oh, give me, what is this? Now only on tele content we get. Yes. Otele is live. Nyash is live. That is the only content I have to offer. So get used to it. It's like Ashawo is in her eyes right from the beginning. But all joke aside, the situation of the country can really make a good girl go bad. Well, Ivan has gotten herself a new car just a few years after staying on social media. Something she wouldn't afford when she was doing gospel music. However, Ivanokuro's background goes beyond being a church girl who turned to slave queen. According to the post on her Instagram page, the emo state bond started suffering from childhood. She began hustling at a very younger age by hawking in the streets of Onicha. She hawked for 10 years to see herself in school and take care of her parents. After school, she would go hawking in order to feed herself and her family and at the age of 13, Ivan rented a comfortable one-bedroom apartment for her parents and brought them from the village to the city of furniture. In her ways, she hawked everything hawkable at a tender age just to survive because her childhood was taken away from her by poverty. At least her album Hichamaya Mary says it all because she really suffered. However, when God didn't answer her as a gospel singer, Ivan Okuru also tried her hand on secular music, where she released hip hop songs with the intention of featuring flavor in one of her songs. On her way to most people, Ivan is a Nollywood actress as well. She started acting as a teenager even before venturing into gospel music. The reason she ventured into gospel music was because during that time, most Nollywood actors were venturing into music, so she had to follow suit. Her main motive for pursuing a career in music was solely driven by financial considerations. In an Instagram video, Ivanokuro confessed that she was never a born-again Christian. It was money that made her to enter into music. Ivanokuro firmly stated that she is an actress, not a slave queen. My name is Evan Okoro, and I want to say something straight. I was never a born again Christian. I'm backslide. Get that into your score. Now, money, I find go. Stop abusing Christianity. We they abuse Christianity in this country, which is very, very wrong. Stop pressurizing people. No be everybody will sing gospel music. Now he be born again. Understand that. Some people get talent. Some people now money they find. Me, I myself, I was looking for the bar. I was looking for the money. Back then, so many actresses went into music, which we all know. You understand? Uh, let's change the one DK. Sank Okuba Jia When no blow. I'm sorry, may so rest in peace. As a hustler, 
Little child then, where they find money, where won't help her family. I say, Bill, I say, money for this musical. Hey, she need one decay. Don't blow with talk about Jack and I started saving money to go for studio. I, yeah, I can't save the money. I did not would back then, though. I did not would. I started acting as a child. You understand me? I can't say, okay, make I sing my own. I can't sing my sister. You know, go anywhere. Even me and my mama and my papa, we use we battle, they push them, they sing that for a side market. <laughs> they dance. I did all that. You know, go. I got to switch to hip hop. I be when I don't see my own, when I don't see hip hop for my for my for my page. Go to YouTube, search American Bobo by Evano Corona Hip Hop. Where I I even want contact a uh, uh, flavor, but I don't get that kind of money. That time. So now it is hotel content. Hotel content can they sell? Hotel. Chinekabarekwensu. Stop abusing Christianity. You see why some pastors they chop una, some fake pastors they chop una. You guys are pressurizing people. Now he makes some mu uh, music uh, 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 artists there. They, they open churches here and there. They commit sin. Because now if he said they be born again. Allow them to give their, their, life, their life to Christ in peace. Stop, don't pressurize them. Don't force them. One day it is utterly content or nothing. Now, yeah. I'm not, I'm not a born again. I was never a born again. In fact, I was an actress. I'll be film person before I do that music. So now money I find go. Money no, no music no great sell or telecom they sell. So make I make I do or telecom test they go. This revelation also proves more unique insight into Ivan Okoro's journey and challenges in the quest to make it in life. As she explains further her life journey, and this shows that being a gospel singer doesn't actually mean you are a born again Christian. Talking about her biography, Ivan Okoro was born on the 4th of December 1990. That means she's currently 32 years old. She's a Hollywood actress, movie producer, and Instagram influencer from Imo State. After her secondary school education, Ivan Sokuro ventured into Nollywood as a teenage actress. While she acted in the Nollywood industry for some time without getting much notice, she ventured into gospel music and subsequently into secular music. When all failed to get her the desired financial breakthrough, she needed, she subsequently returned back to Nollywood and became a movie producer and actress. While Ivan Okoro mostly keep her private life out of the public eye, it is said that she is a mother of two kids from different fathers. However, Ivan Okoro gained significant popularity after her portrayal of the character Dr. Maria in a movie. This marked the beginning of her presence in the spotlight as her breakthrough came with the role in the blockbuster movie titled Sexy Investment, which captured the attention of audience and industry professionals alike. The film showcased her acting prowess and comic talent, and it helped propel her into the spotlight. Ivan Okru has established herself as a versatile actress, delivering captivating performances in various Nollywood productions. Her ability to bring characters to life and infuse them with humor has endeared her to viewers. She has a natural talent for comedy and her comic timing and delivery have become her trademark. In addition to her growing acting career, Ivan Okru movie production career aimed to create a thought-provoking and socially relevant films. One of her notable productions was the movie Bingo Madness, which focused on the issue of social oppression with posting sexual content online for financial gain. The film aimed to shed light on the negative impact of this trend. Unfortunately, her involvement with this movie led to her to face dangerous circumstances that almost cost her life. She was attacked by a group of unknown boys because of her role in the movie Bigo Madness. Recently, Ivan Okoro is trending once again for the wrong reasons just because she is painted as a born-again Christian who even ventured into singing gospel songs who later switched into social media still queen after many years with no success in the gospel aspect. Lately, in Nigeria, it's only good girls that suffer and the bad ones that stay their soul out on social media, cruise in bands and expensive houses. This to tell you that immorality offers the shortest route to riches. 
That is why some gospel musicians now charge churches millions of naira in order to minister so they can see a means of livelihood. I don't really blame her. Nigeria will frustrate you into believing that God does not care about you. She even do not join. It's good she has come out openly instead of pretending. At least she is standing on what she believes in and not those gospel singers that will behave as if they are saints but are doing all sorts of immoralities in closed doors.